There is nothing wrong with your computer monitor. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. If you wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If you wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. We will control what you see. If we wish to make you watch Rick Astley, we will. If we wish to make you watch Gaming Mama, we will. We manipulate the image. We can make it flutter. We can change the focus to a soft blur or sharpen it to crystal clarity. For the next 20 minutes, sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your computer monitor. You are about to witness something special. You are about to experience the rebirth of Simdom as you know it. We are not coming. We are already here. And we are taking over. Hi everybody, welcome back to part number two of my alien domination challenge. I am literally picking up as soon as she wakes up in the next morning because I am super excited to keep playing this. Super excited. So I have it lined up to have a pee and to just do a little bit of gardening there just to plant a few bits she's got. We'll probably fertilise them, let her have a shower, let her have a quick bath and then we are going to get stuck into trying to find men because we did make a fair amount of money yesterday we didn't do too badly 182 simoleons yesterday good woman getting chained oh no of course you're already in your, in your human disguise and we'll probably play a lot of it in human disguise because we're going to be out and about doing a lot with people you know and we need to hide who we are for a certain length of time but when we go home to the mothership or when we're communing with the mothership and things like that, then we are probably going to be in our alien form because... Well, what do I do with this? Um, How do I use... Oh, yes, of course, you dizzy mare. I can't actually fertilise anything yet because nothing's grown. Can we water it? Yes, we'll water it. And then we'll take care of that. Duh, duh, brain. Okay. So we are going to open and eat some leftover of this because there's no point cooking all the time when I can make um, certain meals. You want to do something romantic and you want to kiss somebody? Yes, kiss somebody. So we'll pin those and hopefully we'll be able to make a phone. No, we're not joining the career. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go there. Nope. Nope. <sighs> Because it's not The Sims 3 and I don't have to go into my inventory. We are going to social. And, well, we can't. Why can we not? Why can we not? Okay. We'll do it the other way. We are going to call him and chat. And we're going to send a text and send a text and send another text and send another text. We're going to be stalker girl. That's what we're going to do. And once we've done that, because he is quite likely going to be working at this time of the day, so there's no point inviting him over. We'll see if there is anything that we can dig up. Yes, we can dig that. Come on. Dig for treasure there. Um, Anything down here? Have a swing around and have a look. Oh, look. Hiding there. Because this... Oh, the queue's full. This seems like a good way to... um make some money in all honesty like just that's it have a chat with him do what you're doing you're feeling flirty that's fine darling you feel flirty dig for oh no i can't dig for treasure there. i've only got one map duh okay dig there and dig there speed those along because we just want to get to the her getting pregnant part really don't we and with luna i don't know whether we're gonna get her married or whether she may get married if she finds somebody that is interesting to her. She may. I'm not going to say she's not going to. But I don't think it's going to be beyond. I think we're just going to um, have his babies and move on. Is what I think is going to happen with him. In all honesty. And there's all these people walking down the street as well that we could introduce ourselves to. We found a sapphire. Look, you see... Can old people have kids? Because I'm not really in a position for her 
to worry about whether they're cute or whether we have anything in common or anything like that. We're in the position where we need to have 10 children. And once we've had 10 children, we can get a job and we may have more children after that. Um, and that's why I said this summer was 100 baby challenge as well. We may well end up with more than 100 babies and I inadvertently do the 100 baby challenge. But my plan is to do the 100 baby challenge in The Sims 3. Because toddlers, you know, that's all I'm saying, just toddlers. So that is my plan is tell an outrageous story. I'm just going to line a few things up here for her. Um, that's my plan is to do it there. So if I inadvertently do it here, then I inadvertently do it here. But that isn't my plan. Um, my plan is, is to take over the world. So I hope he takes that flirt because I probably did that a little bit too early. But anyway, tell a funny story. We'll see how we get on. Is he single? Is he married? He's married to Kelly. Well, sorry, Kelly, but we need to steal your husband because we need to have his babies. And I don't care. I don't care whether... She had brilliant ideas. I don't care whether they're married or not. I'm not, again, in a position for that to be an issue. She doesn't have those kind of morals. She can't have those kind of morals. That's that's not what domination is all about. Domination is about doing what you've got to do. No, 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 no. Maybe not ask him to hang out. Well, it's a bit late. He's gone. He's gone. Okay, well, that's fine. You... Oh, smelly, are you smelly? You're not that bad. Come and talk to this grumpus over here. Funny introduction to him. And he's trying to walk away because he's angry. Well, we don't care whether you're angry or not. We just want to talk to you. We just want to talk to you. I would love to be in a position to be pregnant in episode three. You can be grumpy all you want, but you are... St oh, charming. She stinks, does she? Oh, well. Do an impression. Tried to calm him down. What was that noise? Gossip. They don't tend to like gossip, but anyway. More choices, friendly. Yeah, they're telling you you stink. Okay, well, we don't care. You can go home. Oh, you're embarrassed from an awkward comment. Oh well. You can go home now and have a quick bath and then we can go out because there's loads of people just wandering around. Wandering around. Um, Our house is here. Yes. Good job you found it. Right. So go in and take a bath. Because we don't have a shower so we're going to have to have a bath and that's okay. You can have a bath. Can we fertilise these yet? No. Come along, sweetheart. Join garden gnomes. What do you think? Do you know what? Actually, we will. We will join garden gnomes. Welcome to garden gnomes. I'm happy that you've decided to join our club. Yes, I'll be right there. Oh, she's going stinking. I should have said no. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Just let her go. You never know how many men are going to be over in the gardening gnomes club. You just don't know. Uh, I always cry when I see that the power of voodoo who do you do and if you know why then you're awesome because best movie ever okay so have a chat to him discuss interests praise the leader more choices friendly brighten his day um other sims ask about another sim ask about kale see what that does you stink i know you stink but he he doesn't care too much i haven't spent any time with her i assume she does a fine job well yes we're getting club points so we'll be able to maybe do something with them at some point now what are you wearing? I didn't put you in that. Oh, did I? Is that your party outfit? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I didn't put you in that, though. 
change outfit to everyday one. I put you in a red top. Oh well. Never mind. Let's talk about garden gnomes. Friendly. Deep conversation. Come on, let's funny. Tell a funny story. A funny joke about politicians and friendly. Mm, more choices. Get to know. You don't want to hug him because you stink. <laughs> Hanging out with more, more fry, friars is the main reason that I enjoy the garden gnomes. And he's just ran off and left you. Is the meeting over? Well, that's fine. We're going home because we need a bath. We stink. We do. So we'll head on home. At least we had a chat with him. We can invite him over after we've had a bath and get to know him a little bit better. We are going to have to get a double bed for woohooing because we only have a single bed and we can't try for a baby in a single bed. That would be awkward. See, now she's completely changed her outfit again. She was in a red top. So why did she suddenly appear in a green top? That is just weird, right? Go and get in the bath because you stink. Your hunger's not that bad. Your bladder's not that bad. So you can do that and then you can clean up. Yes. Um, ugh. I should have known better. I should have known better. Okay, never mind. Never mind. These things happen. You're meant to be having a bubble bath. I don't see very many bubbles. She's feeling playful. That's fine. You feel playful. You feel playful. Now, I am just wondering, because we are going to need a double bed. And that bedroom is very small. I am just wondering now, if we nip into build mode, can I pull this bedroom out at all? I don't think I can, can I? Might have to put the walls up. Let's see. Yes. So we'll pull the bedroom out there. And we'll pull it out there. That doesn't leave us with very much money, but we can definitely um, get a double bed soon. And there'd be enough room for the kid to have a bed in there for the time being as well if need be. Right, what are we going to do? Why don't we? Don't do that. Why don't we call him and invite him to hang out? Because we need our first baby daddy. We do. He will be right over. Awesome. I'm not quite sure how fast coming right over is, but let's see. Is there anybody walking past that we can... There, he's already here. Awesome. We don't need to go anywhere. Right, so what are you planning on doing now? Don't wash your hands. Go and invite him inside. Can we invite him inside? Get to know him. Yep, just wander straight in. Into our bedroom with our single bed. And nowhere to woohoo, but we're okay. We'll manage. Okay, so we will. Friendly. We're going to have to do a lot of friendly stuff and a lot of funny stuff now. Um, Share brilliant ideas. Friendly. Mm, reveal brilliant invention. And then we will get to know. We will discuss interests yes we will and we will um, ask about his day and we are full let's see where that gets us he's good that's nice we don't know whether he's single he's a slob well he ain't moving in with us then what are you doing darling getting something to drink that's okay 
And then after you've done that, can you please... Funny... Tell a funny story. Funny, tell an outrageous story. Um, funny, tell a joke about vampires and see where that gets us. Let's see, you sit on the bed while we talk to you. Awesome. So just have a conversation with him, it's fine. Just a general, general conversation while you're doing what you need to do. He will go home at some point, but we can actually probably start to um, flirt fairly soon. Let's see. We don't want to do that. Romance. Flirt. See if he accepts the flirt. Come on. See if he accepts the flirt. Because it's important to know if he accepts the flirt or not. Oh, he's accepted it! Awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome. So he's into the flirting. That's fine. So we will... Ask if single. And we will flirt a little bit more. And we will exchange numbers, although we already have his number. But anyway, we will um, compliment his appearance. Let's see how we get on with that. He's married to Clara. Oh, dear. Sorry, Clara. Good girl. Charming. Pusharab Kubara Dawi, Alfana Dalopa, Najelna, Arabanza Chat, Nibahana, Finosa Bat, and Parsifa from Swarthbucket. Why are you embarrassed, darling? An awkward conversation. You're embarrassed. Oh dear. Right, well, ask for reassurance and do that joke thing and then we'll recover from there. Friendly. She's feeling flirty again. I think we may have just tried to flirt a little bit too soon. So we will just go with a few more friendly interactions. Um, I'm just going to line these up, actually, just very quickly. We will hug. Give him a hug, just a friendly hug. And we will um, have a deep conversation. And we will express admiration. We need to just build it up a little bit more because he wasn't, he felt, he was feeling the flirts to start with and then he just sort of went, eeks. So we'll discuss interest as well. It's getting quite late so he's going to have to go home soon. But I was hoping that we would have him in a position where we could, um... We could, um... Is he going home now? Or are you just going to put something in the recycle bin? We'll, we'll try and talk to you. Tell an engaging story. And we will... Ask her about love life. Just hopefully he takes that sort of as a friendly thing. And he doesn't have another deep conversation. And tell an inside joke. Because we are getting on quite well. We are getting on quite well, so we might as well just keep pushing it forward. Because like I said, I would like to be pregnant in part number three. Where are you going, sweetheart? Why are you going out there to chat to him? It's your house. Why did you leave to talk to him outside and then go back in? You're just weird. Hey. 
Okay, let's see how we get on here. It's very late. You should be going home, but I don't care. Stay as long as you want. Right, now. No, don't go to bed, darling. Come in here now and try and kiss his hand. And flirt a little bit. Let's see how that goes. Because your friendship level did go up quite considerably since the last one, so... Well, he accepted that and he's now flirting. Oh, I think we're in a position where we can um, push this a little bit further, actually. Um, embrace him and do a sexy pose. Oh, I'm sorry, what? That's a sexy pose? <laughs> Good, you've got no game. <laughs> we need to work on that. I might have to down... I've never used a sexy pose thing before. I think I'm going to have to download some um, custom poses because <laughs> that's just not good. Oh, they're having the first kiss. And is he going to accept it? Oh, he is. Awesome. Now, what, what do you want to do? You want to schedule a date? No, we're not going to do that. What, what do you want to do there? You want to kiss him again? We'll let you kiss him again. Okay. Romance. Confess attraction. We will. Um, can't ask you to stay the night. Blow him a kiss. Pick up line. And... Let's see. Romance. You wanted to kiss him again, didn't you? Kiss. Okay. See how this goes. <laughs> wife? What wife? <laughs> Steamy exchange. I think we're going to be ready to woohoo in the next one, guys. Yes. We will get you pregnant in the next one. We will indeed, Mrs. Okay. So that's another need taken care of. What's that? You want to buy a dishwasher? We're not going to let you have that one. Um, freshen up in the memory. We will let you do that. Okay, you're going to bed. We'll just let him do what he wants to do. Let him do what he wants to do. How long have I got left on this one? We've got literally two minutes again. This is working out very, very well. So, it looks like, guys, I'm not even going to cut out here because we've got like two minutes left before my timer goes off. So, he's probably headed home now at three o'clock in the morning. His wife's going to wonder where he's been. But anyway, uh, oh, he's not. He's just, are you going through a rubbish? Oh, stalker. Stalker, stalker. And he's... Oh, charming. Oh, my God. She just root through our rubbish and then fart right in the camera's face. I mean, are you kidding me? Oh. We are going to get your babies and I know this war. We're going to get your babies and we're going to tell you to jog on. That's what we're going to do. You are not coming over to our house, rummaging through our rubbish, helping yourself to our food, putting, oh, uh, leaving your food on the floor and farting. I'm sorry. No. Get out. Go home. You're done. Well, you're not quite done because we haven't got a baby in our belly yet. But you're nearly done. You're nearly done. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to end this episode right here. Um, Because she is just sleeping and all the rest of it. So I'm going to leave this episode right here. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know if you're enjoying the Let's Play. I know we haven't had any babies yet. But, you know, we will be getting pregnant in the next one. So that's fine. Everything's on schedule. Leave your suggestions and everything else. Any ideas you've got for the Let's Play 
anything like that in the comments box and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you guys in episode three. Ciao for now guys.